2017 saw the crime rate increase rapidly in the capital. Gangs such as the Mali Boys, whom were rumoured to have anywhere between 40 to 90 members and were based in Leyton, they controlled and distributed Class A and Class B substances. They scrapped stolen cars and broke down parts and were responsible for forming a number of trap houses for growls. In order to keep their influence and authority contained, UK drill group Mali Strip was established and formed. Drill rappers such as Richie, Baby Main, Rondo Montana depicted their life of being a Mali Boy member and what came with it. All the money, the fashion, the jewellery, retaliation and also heartless demeanour. From time to time ruckus is flared and that's part and parcel of being in a gang. Smaller gangs would deal in the Mali's territory and it was always dealt with swiftly, with physical force. And then the altercations were immortalised into lyrics and laid on tracks. Opportunists also attempted to steal girls, but again that also led to physical altercations and even rumoured M's. Police actually went on record and explained that they believed the Mali boys as an entity were responsible for hundreds of violent attacks that left civilians living in fear every day. Now the Mali boys main opposition was Priory Court and the gang war between the two groups led to an innocent man being fatally fired upon for no other reason than his appearance. This was a classic case of mistaken identity. Tragically, 20-year-old Joseph William Torres was sitting in a van with a friend in Essex Road, Walthamstow, when he was ambushed by three gang members of the Mali Boys. On March 4, 2018, 21-year-old Hamza Ulhak, 19-year-old Lorik Nagesi, and a 16-year-old boy who could not be named due to his age were armed with a pistol and disguised themselves by pulling hoods over their heads. They ran to the van where Joseph William Torres was and then they fired. Now, when it was taken to court, the prosecution says that the entire incident took just 120 seconds from start to finish. From the moment they approached Joseph, pulled out their weapons, pointed it at point blank range and then fired at chest and legs, just 120 seconds. That means Hamza and Lorik and a 16 year old boy did not have a chance to make sure that the target was a rival or an innocent person. They didn't do their due diligence. And sadly, Joseph William Torres was taken down in a case of mistaken identity. This was an innocent casualty. Marley Boys believed that Joseph William Torres was actually a Samuel Hunter, who was known to be part of the private court gang. Now, this all came about because the Marley Boys were hell-bent on revenge after private court members had previously chased Hamza and other Marley Boy members into a shop and squir squirted liquid in their face. And also, someone had been stabbed. Also, the passing of Mali Boy's member, Elijah Donnelly, who had been killed by private court members previously. Now, police and emergency services attended the scene, and they did their best to help Joseph William Torres. On the way to transporting him to hospital, sadly, he was pronounced dead. Now, this gang warfare was in full effect. The gang was actually captured on CCTV cameras, and a 16-year-old boy had actually dropped his mobile phone when the Mali Boys ran away from the crime scene. Now, of course, all that was submitted to police. Now, phone records indicated the shooting had been premeditated and had been carefully panned, and this was a revenge attack. Now, when detained by police, Lorik and Hamza denied being the two individuals on CCTV, and they denied all charges, answering no comment to all questions when being interviewed. As for the 16-year-old, he did admit to being at the scene, but he refused to cooperate any further and also refused to give the names of the people he was with. Now, all three members of the Mali Boys were jailed for life in 2019. Again, it's a sad case of people being in a gang and doing stuff without thinking, ruining your lives and everybody else's lives that's connected. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.